Oh, hey, what's up? All right, so I just want to jump on here quick, make a little video about an upgrade I did to the Can-Am. A lot of people like to admire. I made a, my grill quick release. I've seen a couple videos of other people doing it, and mine was like 14 bucks. Don't exactly remember how much, but I will put the link in the description later. Uh, so basically, we're gonna make this removable. I forgot I had the plate on there still. All right, I'm gonna pull this hood off. Get the zip tie off. It's gonna be fun. This plate is for my heater core, basically. It blocks this part, keeps my heater core nice and warm. So to do this, you're gonna need to remove this front end. You're gonna start by pulling these two pins, these flathead, any pliers. Uh, every screw that I point at, bolt, it's gonna be a T30. So you got one here, I need some white in here. Sorry about the hood rich garage. All right, so you got one here, one here, one here, which you're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench to get on the nut behind it. And one there, one's hiding right here, and then one behind that rock light. And you got three clips. One here, it has a little plastic washer on it, don't lose that. A clip here. And a clip above your light right there. Now after you have these all removed on both sides, same amount on the other side, disconnect your lights. Your, uh, yeah, I think it's just the lights you, can, you have to disconnect. You can pull this off. After you have this pulled off, you wanna to get to this grill. Now there's two screws in the back of this grill. Two screws and two clips that hold this in. So you're gonna have one screw here, one screw there. After you get this off, you have to modify it. You're leaving this clip and that clip, okay? You want to take a grinder and a Dremel. Get that flat right here. It's going to be like a little clip thing like this. You want to get that out of there, make it flat, and drill a hole to whatever diameter your latch is. If you don't go, if you don't go with the one that I'm, I'm posting, uh, the two screws that hold here, you don't need those anymore. So you want to get that flat. Do the same thing over here. Now these lips, they're going to be out here you want to grind all that out dremel it make it flat drill your hole you also have to grind the button out for this specific button i made a little drawing here this isn't precise but it gives you an idea of what you need to do i would start small you don't want to take off too much material uh, once that's done back over here get a little tape measure quick inch and a half overall that's about three quarters of an inch that's a half inch now I would suggest leaving the stud as long as you can without hitting that radiator and then getting it to work and then cutting it shorter I got about a quarter inch behind that nut so it's not washer washer nut uh, just make sure your buttons functioning correctly that's it my minimum was a half inch there, three quarters from the base. Now what this does, it allows you to get to 75% of your radiator. I've seen a lot of other people do it differently where they cut, you can actually pull th this part off, this whole face. But for that three inches, I can't really justify it. Um, this is my quick little uh, improvement. I mean, they should have done that from factory. I think they did in the old, older years. Don't quote me on that. 
but it's definitely beneficial. It's helped me out many a times. Uh, I hope it helps you guys out. I hope you like this. Hit the like button, subscribe for future videos. Got a couple other cool things I did in my side-by-side, -side, uh, like my uh, heater core. I located that up under the dash behind the steering column. Uh, just some things I'm going to do, random videos. I'd like to say I do once a week, but I don't want to overwhelm myself just getting into this. Uh, but yeah, hit that like button, share it, let everybody else see this. I mean, I hope it helps a bunch of you guys out. And if you have any problems and solutions, I mean, let me know. Maybe I'll make a video about it. Uh, if you have the problem, I might have the problem. Someone else probably has the problem. But yeah, uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. I think two weeks, we're going on a, a rock trip, rock crawl. So I'll get that video out as soon as I can. Wait.